Today, we're gonna fix the iron farm. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This one is actually a special one. It's, a, it's out of my regularly scheduled um, tutorials. Now, if you built my carrot, iron, and gold farm, you probably have a tube that looks something like this. Picture the iron farm above it. I didn't need to build the whole thing because we're just working with the tube anyway. So you probably have a, an, a, a tube that has a ton of zombie piglins in it. That is because literally the day after I built that farm, they because I, I, I had a feeling it was a bug, but I was hoping it wasn't. When I built the farm, the sun was actually killing the zombies. Okay? Then like the, literally the next day, they fixed that. So then lava was still burning him. So I actually pinned a, pinned a comment and I said, if you add lava six layers up, so it was like one, two, three, four, five, and they would fall down slowly through it and they would burn. And by the time they got down here, they would die and you could collect their stuff and they wouldn't, you know, wouldn't, the lava would not burn it. Well, that's been fixed too. They can swim in lava again. So what to do? Okay, well, this is what I came up with, which is, you know, what everybody uses, one of those, I forget what they're called. The, uh, you, you use the tridents and it goes back and forth. I, I don't know how people build them. I, I know what they do, so I just built my own. But I even added a lever for you guys just in case you don't want to hear that noise anymore. Okay, so you just turn it on and it'll just start killing them. And the good thing is you can actually get XP. So you stand here, you get XP. Uh, the reason I added this is because of the cats. So you will actually get string two now from this farm. But let's say you didn't want the string. Let's say you wanted the cats to go. Just leave this open and the baby cats will make their way around out and they'll wander around, but they'll stay attached to this uh, farm. Okay, so that's why I added these. You do not have to have them. Uh, you can get rid of them completely and just let the cats walk out. But I just did it just in case some of you may want the string. So you leave it here and then when you go AFK, you just stand here and XP. So now you get XP. You get XP and string from this farm. It's pretty awesome. Let's just turn this off, okay? So you're gonna do a couple things first. First and foremost, it's a pain in the butt, but you gotta you gotta actually block this off. So come right up to the top of the glass. You're gonna actually have, uh, you're probably gonna have this on the top of it, right? I believe that's how I did it. One of the ways goes like this. Okay, that's fine. However, just the only thing that's important is cover. Just take it. Actually, take. Uh, don't waste your glass. Take some dirt, block it off. Now they'll all stay up here while you do what you got to do, okay? You're going to come down here, and you're just going to kill them, go to town on them, killing them. Obviously, I have a netherite sword for this tutorial. You use whatever you want to use. doesn't matter, okay? The most important thing is just eliminating all of them, okay? You'll get some XP. You'll get some nuggets flying. That'll all go in there, and everything will be good. Uh, by the way... This is everything you're going to need, minus that and that. Okay, so let me just back out real quick. So here's everything you're going to need. Take four tridents. They don't have to be, you know, enchanted or anything. You could use them if you want. I, it's really no point. Just, um, yeah, as long as loyalty is not on them. Don't use loyalty. Just take regular tridents. Doesn't matter. They could have half health. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just take four tridents. Two trap doors. I'm using oak. Or don't if you don't want it. Take a wooden sword because you're going to need it for the hoppers and the comparator. Uh, the comparators. But it's the easiest thing that you can make. I, I'm pretty sure. Just take it because you need a signal strength of three. Uh, the lever, if it's optional, but I, I think it helps if you don't want to hear the noise anymore when you're walking away. Uh, just take some glass. I think you're going to need like 12 replacement glass or just use a silk touch to uh, do what we just did. Okay. Uh, take about a stack of dirt. Just something. You're not going to need that much. I estimated about 20 smooth quartz blocks or whatever block you used for the pillars here, which look like uh, this going all the way up. All right, this is how you should have it. Uh, and then you're going to need 48 of the uh, stair blocks, 48 stair blocks, two, uh, I'm sorry, four of the pistons. Uh, you're going to need 18, uh, 18 of whatever slabs you want and uh, two comparators. I will put... Uh, the link in the description. I will put all of that in the description. Okay. So like I said, your thing looks like this, right? What you're going to do now is above the chests, you're going to go ahead and you're going to add some stairs upside down. I think it looks nice. Okay. 
and just get up here break the two on all the sides except for the front you don't need the front broken okay and now what we're gonna do is put down a piece of dirt and you're gonna run a hopper into that a hopper into that a hopper into that hopper and then another hopper into that hopper so now this is actually gonna go around uh, and it actually is better because the other ones let's say that one chest got filled and this is the hopper if the chest was filled and the hopper was filled you would lose those items now because this goes all the way around it'll make sure that the four chests get filled up before the hoppers start filling and then the hoppers will fill and it's it's just a lot better of a system anyway okay so you add four more hoppers so I got eight here so it's technically extra storage for you okay then you're gonna come to the side which is this right here you're gonna come out and go like that okay so make like a little L shape and you're gonna put two pistons right there then you can break that you're gonna do the same thing to the other side okay so just come out two and then go across like that and put two in there just like so cool now we're gonna do is in this corner facing the hot facing the pistons on the on this side of it you're gonna go uh, comparator there this is this side same thing you're going to go comparator there. Okay, coming out of that comparator, you're going to put a block here. And just for symmetry, we're going to add a block there. And then you're going to run one, two, three redstone. Okay, the redstone has to come out of the block that's into the comparator. Same thing on this side for symmetry. And then make sure, again, the redstone starts on the side where the comparator is, the block right there. Okay, cool. And then you can actually go ahead and replace that... Uh, no, you know what? We're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do it. I believe I did it like that. Yeah. We're going to do that there. We're going to put that there. And we're going to put that there. Okay? Then what you're going to go ahead and do, again, if this is your front... Actually, it doesn't matter which side you do it. You just need three rows of slabs. Okay? Just leave one empty. So that, that this would be your front on... This is my front right here. Okay, so I did it starting from the right. So I got one, two, and then coming this way with the left side open. Okay, you can actually break this glass right here and you can add your trap doors and then put it down because the cats will obviously fall when you uh, open that up, as will everything else. Okay, and then you just want to come in there like that. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to put Piston, uh, hoppers facing each other. So put down a junk block, hopper this way, hopper this way. Do not put the item in yet. Okay, now all we're going to do is we're just going to go around it like so. Okay, just like that. Cool. We're going to go, sorry, we're going to go like this. Yeah, you could break that front block, sorry. Come around like that. All the way around, all the way around, and then break that. And then we'll do the same thing for the top part, but we're just going to do regular stairs. Obviously not upside down. Okay. Then in here for the back part, you could just use junk blocks, doesn't matter, just anything. And then we're going to cover it up like this with that. Okay, so you actually didn't need glass. I'll make sure in the... Uh, I'll make sure in the description. I, for some reason, I thought I replaced it. I think I broke a lot more uh, when I was doing it originally. Okay. Uh, if you want, though, for the front, you can actually add glass here. So that way you can see everything. If you'd like. You don't have to. It doesn't really matter. Okay. But if you want to see everything at work, you can go ahead and do that. Okay. And then, also, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and just put those there. Now, this is where you're going to put your lever. Because if you break this, you'll actually see it's touching the hopper. Whoops. Okay, so you can come in here. And you can just put down your lever like that. On either side, doesn't matter which one it is. I'm actually going to let it go. I'm going to keep it on. Okay. Perfect. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. So now the only thing you have to do is come back up to the top. However you want to do that, you can do it 
inside, however you want to do it. Uh, I'm just going to do it from the top here. Uh, don't actually don't open it up yet. Sorry. Before you before you do that, open this up. Get on top of it here, and what you want to do is throw your four tridents onto. So if you if this is the front part, on this block right here, whichever the middle one is. So if you went to the left, that would be one, two, three. This would be the side. But see how I went this way where the uh, slabs are over here. So it's one, two, three. This middle one right here. You're gonna throw your tridents. Just get a good mix, doesn't matter. One, two, and then three, four. Do two and two. If you have more tridents, you could do more. I think you could do eight, let's see. Yeah, you get eight going in there, that's fine. Four, four, seem, four worked for me, but if you wanna do more, go ahead and do more. They should not despawn, I actually left in my world. I'll show you a video at the end of it working in my world. In the infiniverse okay and then you can come up here you can break that okay now when your mobs drop down so let's let's get some mobs going and it'll work obviously for golems as well it takes a little longer to kill them but uh not much longer you'd be surprised where are they here we go zombified piglins okay so when there's when the piglins go in there even the babies okay Come over here. Turn it on. Why? Oh, did I not add the redstone? Oh, you know what? We forgot the most important thing. We forgot to put the item in. Okay. So let me just go behind it. Can I get in there? No, I can't. So I'll go this way. So break the block next to this one in case you forget like I did. I'm glad this, actually, this happened actually. And boom. There you go. So it's killing them right now. There is a name for this. I, I don't remember what it is. I don't know who created this thing. I know I've seen it in videos before. So I just created my own way. I, I don't know how they do the redstone. But this to me seemed like the simplest way. So that's what I did. All right. And it just goes back and forth. And like I said, you could just stand here. Just go AFK. As long as everything around you obviously is, you know, mobs can't get into your, into your build. And you'll get XP. You'll get string if you want it. If you... Close this down, you can get the string. Um, and yeah, you're good to go. All right. So I know it looks a little ugly. It's not what I wanted, but it's it's if you already built the entire farm, just build this. It'll it'll change your life. It'll make it so much easier. And you'll you'll get now you're adding two extra things. So on top of the carrots, on top of the iron, on top of the gold, now you're gonna get XP and you're also uh, gonna get some string. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, Captain Obvious out. Peace.